Disclaimer, the following video is just a bunch of random stuff put together by a stupid guy trying to be funny. It is not meant to be mean in any way. This video is also full of jokes that may not be appropriate for a younger audience. If you see a game that you like in this series, please remember that this is all based off of my own personal opinion. The jokes in this series are also mainly satire and just for entertainment purposes. Finally, please do not go and send hate to anyone mentioned in these videos as they have done absolutely nothing wrong and do not deserve it. Don't say that I didn't warn you. Well look at that. There are now as many episodes of this series as there are hours in a day. That's pretty cool isn't it? Also hooray, look at that. The subtitles are back. Shut the fuck up I haven't finished talking yet. It seemed that most people preferred the episodes with subtitles, so we've brought them back. Now before we continue, I would just like to remind you, if you haven't already, you can follow Xenowolf on Twitter, and also join the Discord server for future updates on this series as well as other future videos which you should definitely check out as well. But anyway, I know you're not here for that stupid shit, so let's get straight on with this episode. Yo what the fuck is up everyone, Yao boy is back to review some more shitty games on Roblox, let's not waste any time and just get straight into the first game which is called Escape 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 now if we look at the description, we can see that it's just the word escape copied and pasted 9 billion times. Now I'm not too sure on what this game wants us to do, neither the title or description give us an idea, but let's just hop into it and find out. So I haven't even started playing, and I've already spotted something wrong with the game, it immediately throws a bunch of items at you that you can buy, which seems a little bit scummy because I haven't started playing and they already want me to give them money, but let's just move on. So it turns out that this game is another fucking obby, and I don't really know what the fuck I was expecting from a game with a thumbnail, title, and description like that, and to be honest I'm getting really sick of all the fucking obbies that are on Roblox, they're all the same bullshit and none of them are original or fun, way, let's carry on. This obby takes place on a building site, the first level was pretty easy, we just had to jump on some cinder blocks and that was it, but when I got to the next checkpoint, I saw that they had placed more shop items around it. That's kind of weird, but let's move on. In the next level, I had to jump over some hammers, and I died a few times because of my own stupidity, but every time I died, the game would give me another shop item telling me that I could skip the level if I wanted to, and this happened literally every time I died, which is a really scummy and annoying thing to do. I mean, it's a pretty distracting way of promoting merch. You could just throw it at the player's faces every time they die. Personally, I would have done it either at the hey beginning. Guys, don't forget to buy my merch so that, that actually doesn't exist by my non-existent it anyway so that I can told you to even though you never yeah, asked for me to which is over here to give you my merch because please please everything else is going on the After I finished that level, you'll never guess what was at the checkpoint. Some more fucking shop items. Okay so, I understand you wanting to promote merch or whatever. But one of the worst ways to do it is by placing it around every fucking checkpoint in the game so that players are forced to walk over it. Seriously, I don't think I've seen any game in Roblox promote their merch like this before. Seriously, the people that made this game are so fucking hungry for money. It's actually sad, and what's worse is that they even place some of it in the levels themselves, sometimes not even at the checkpoints. What I find to be the worst thing about their quote unquote merch is that the items that they're throwing in your faces can only be used in that playthrough. What I mean by this is, for example, if you buy the fidget spinner, you will only be able to use it until you leave the game. So if you come back, you'll have to buy another one if you want to use it again. Anyway, enough talking about the game's shitty merch for now, let's just continue. The next few levels were just your average obby shit, jump over or onto stuff, and I'm not going to lie, 
Some of the designs of the levels in this game were pretty decent, but again, you couldn't go two seconds without the game promoting their fucking awful merch. Whether it was at the start, end, or the middle of a level, there would always be a way that the developers would have promoted their merch. I'm not going to talk about every level in this game since I don't want to bore you with this game since I was pretty bored of it myself, and like I said earlier, most of the levels were pretty generic, so let's just skip to the end. Now you may have noticed the giant text at the top of the screen saying finish the game for a surprise, or in this case, a surprise. They didn't spell the word surprise correctly, but anyway, here we are on the last level, where we have to avoid cones, so let's just take this nice and easy, oh okay well let's just try that again. Oh come on! Fucking god damn it I hate this game! So this was probably the most challenging level in the whole game, since the hitboxes on the cones is absolutely AIDS, and I'm not lying when I say this, it took me about 3 minutes to finish that level. I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but for Nobby, it's fucking ages, but now that we've finished the game, let's see what the surprise is. It's nothing, there's no surprise here, it's just the exact same shit you get at the end of every other fucking obby on Roblox, those goddamn path things. Well there's nothing else to say about this game, so let's just give my review. This game was honestly a huge waste of my time, but I hope you guys are happy since I played it so that you didn't have to, but holy shit there's a lot of stuff wrong with this game. First of all, I've already said pretty much everything I needed to about the way these guys promote their merch. Not only are there a bunch of annoying GUIs on the screen, but you also shouldn't promote merch by copying and pasting it at the start of every level, because it just takes away the majority of the stuff that the players came here for. They didn't come here for you to promote some fidget spinners and a machine gun. They came because they wanted to escape, 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 escape. Also, that last level needs a lot of fixing, since like I said, it took way too long to finish. Some of the other levels were also too easy, some of them I avoided completely by just walking along the side. So all that's really left to say is this is probably one of the worst obbies I have ever played, mostly because of how money hungry the c**ts who made it are. So with all of that out the way, let's move on to the second game. The second game that we are going to play is called Hotel Elephant, I don't know who in their right mind would come up with a name like that, but I won't judge. The thumbnail gives us a nice look at the building itself, and the description gives us a basic introduction, so if over 88,000 people like this game, surely it has to be great, right? Well let's take a look. So we spawn inside a helicopter which has no insides, only a body. But hey, it's a fancy way of arriving to a hotel I suppose. The outside of the hotel has a random palm tree and some very sketchy girl just leaning on a fence saying that you can get more money by talking to her. But let's go into the hotel itself. The hotel only has 8 rooms for some reason, but I decided to take room 4. However, when I got there, all that was in it was a bed and a TV, where the fuck is my bathroom? Do you want me to just shit on the bed? What the fuck am I supposed to do without a bathroom? And I also have a pretty shitty view of the top of a palm tree. Oh well, let's explore a little more. I decided to check out other rooms, some of them being just as bad as mine, and some of them being a lot better, such as having both a bathroom and a balcony. I also found an elevator which was broken, and then I went upstairs. What the fuck is this? Is this supposed to be a pool? Why is it brown? Who the fuck took a shit in the pool? Seriously, why the fuck is the pool brown? This hotel is automatically getting a negative 4,983,265 stars from me. After dunking myself in feces, I then went to the top floor to find a gym, a hot tub and a balcony. Nothing too exciting. I wanted to get a better room, but all of the good ones were taken, and by all the good ones, I mean about two of them since the rest are absolute shit. So I then decided to explore the rest of the map. First I boarded a boat which took us to some clothing shop, which was also shit. There was absolutely nothing to do. You couldn't even buy anything from there, literally. The only thing you could do in that room was walk around and look. 
I then decided to buy a jet ski so that I could do something that was at least half entertaining, but even that got boring after about two seconds. Something else I noticed was how the water was made up of three different blocks, and how it also just randomly ends. This game is so poorly designed that the developer couldn't even build water correctly. The only thing left to do was go down to the casino, which I forgot to do in my first recording of this game. The casino is probably the best thing in this game, and that's really saying something. But considering that casinos are for over 18s, and Roblox is a kid's game, that's a bit sketchy if you ask me. The casino has a few machines where you can earn money, but money almost has no purpose in this game. I mean, there is a role called shop assistant, but the only shop I could find was the clothing one, which had nobody in it, and you couldn't buy anything from there, the only thing I found that you could buy was the boats and the jet ski, but even they were boring to use after 2 seconds. So that's pretty much everything that this game has, so now we're going to move on to my review, but before we do that, I must let you all know that this game was made in 2010, so obviously some stuff may not have worked as it was supposed to, but it was updated in February of this year, which means that the developer was either too lazy to actually update the game, or just made really really bad scripts for it, but now that that's out of the way, let's move on to my review. This game is definitely one of the worst games on this series, mainly because it's so boring and there is almost nothing to do, the hotel's exterior isn't bad, but a lot of the rooms need to be rebuilt. The description says wanted to find a hotel that doesn't just copy and paste rooms, and I get why they would put that, but I honestly think that copying and pasting room 2 would have been better than building rooms from scratch, and may I remind you, some of these rooms didn't have bathrooms, also for some reason, the developer was too lazy to build a proper mountain, so there's just a flat part at the back for no reason. Like I said earlier, the water was also somehow built incorrectly, I don't know how the developer managed that, you couldn't even swim in it, but I should say that there is actual water in Roblox now, and you can actually swim in it, I think that would be much better than a bunch of blue bricks. That's pretty much all there is to say about the game, so now it's time to move on to our last game. The last game we're going to play is a lot more popular than the other two, it's called Horrific Housing, this guy in the thumbnail seems to be having a great time, he's being burned alive, who wouldn't want to do that, so let's just get straight into it. The first thing we see is a brief summary on what the game's objective is, pretty much all you need to do is be the last man standing to win, while avoiding certain things like meteors, it also says we can customize our houses, which is pretty cool, but let's get into the actual game. So we've spawned in a pretty small lobby, and by pretty small, I mean about 5 meters of space on either side, like seriously, I don't think I've seen a lobby this small before, but never mind that, let's just get into our first round. Ok so here we are in the game, I have a nice little red house, I'm assuming I can decorate it as I level up, and the only way we can do that is by winning the game. So let's see what comes our way and hopefully we will- Holy fucking shit I am on fire I am burning I'm fucking burning oh my god <laughs> Well that round didn't go too well, let's hope the next one is a little better. So far not much has happened, other than me winning a pointless badge. Holy shit it's murder mystery, and I'm the murderer, let's kill these motherfuckers. Hey hi take that, yeah. There we go, and look at that. I've only played 2 rounds and I've already won, well that's this video over see you all later goodbye. <laughs> After winning, I got a new color for my house, which was a nice blue color, but since we haven't seen much of this game, let's continue playing. Holy shit now my house is sitting on top of lava, which for some reason isn't actually burning the house itself, but I'm not complaining, but just to prevent myself from dying. I'm going to move, there we go, now hopefully we don't die. Oh for fuck's sake now I have to fight some random guy. There we go, you can't beat me noob. One thing I noticed about this game was that after things like that sword fighting round, the winner would keep the weapon they had in it, which I don't really like, 
because it means that person can just kill whoever they want, which is pretty unfair to everyone else in the game, especially if they don't have anything like another weapon or a force field. Ok wow seriously, dabbing is in this game. And why the fuck was I the one to dab? Come on man, it's 2019, dabbing died ages ago. Nothing else really happened in that round, apart from me getting infected by trying to kill a zombie, and then falling to my death since my jump was lower than usual. Already I'm getting pretty bored of this game since it's just doing the same thing over and over, and I am also seeing elements from other games taken and put into this one, such as how one of the rounds says someone is playing Flee the Facility, which involves the player typing on a computer and escaping from the main game area itself, similar to the actual Flee the Facility, it's a cool nod to that game, but if I really wanted to play Flee the Facility, I would just play Flee the Facility, but that's not the only game that has had its elements taken from it. As we saw earlier, Murder Mystery is also involved, and in a recent update, they added Flood Escape. Again, I don't mind these small nods towards these games, but I would much rather play those actual games than have this one put them in here. In fact, the entire game itself is pretty similar to Survive the Disasters, where a number of things happen to the players and they have to avoid being killed. Ok so here we are in a new round, let's see what happens holy shit aliens are stealing my house holy shit a a a a a a a a a a a a a Well I fell off, now I have to fucking wait again, the next disaster after that was acid rain, and something about the acid rain disaster is that every time it happens, this really 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 loud music plays, I'm warning you now, this music is really loud, and in my opinion, completely unnecessary, this is what it sounds like. I seriously think that music is highly unnecessary for the acid rain disaster, it sounds more like a really apocalyptic movie scene or something, not a tiny fucking bit of rain. There's not really much else to say about this game, I've done pretty much everything there is in the game, apart from show you a few more of the disasters that are in it, such as the death note or you being an assassin, so now it's time for my review. In all honesty, this game is actually well made and pretty fun to play, after recording, I used a different account to carry on playing it, but it is in this video because there are some flaws with it that I think should be fixed, first off, there are a lot of dead memes in this game, and I mean a lot, things like Sprite Cranberry, Want a Sprite Cranberry? Pickle Rick, Turn up some video pickle I'm pickle Rick. Fidget Spinners, and Dabbing are all featured here, seriously. I don't think anybody has mentioned or even dabbed since 2017, hell, there's even a dead meme from around 2009 here. Wow what a relevant meme, everybody is totally talking about it right now. Another thing I need to point out is that, as mentioned earlier, during rounds like the sword fighting one, after you kill the other person, you get to keep your weapon and kill everyone else. I understand that this game is supposed to be last man standing, but I do think it's unfair if one person has a weapon and everybody else is completely defenseless. I think the sword should be given to you only until one of the players die. There's also this secret room that you can go into by pressing a series of buttons, but it doesn't do anything once you get there, so I feel like they should do something with that as well. That's pretty much all that there is in the game, so now I'm going to leave you with Dave to do the outro, thanks for watching, and until next time. Well chaps, that's all the time we have for this episode. Aww. Shut the fuck up I haven't finished talking yet. So once again, links to Zeno Wolf's Twitter and Discord are in the description, as well as his previous video that you can watch if you haven't already. And if you don't watch it then I will eat all the shampoo in your house, but that's going to be it from me. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. Cheerio.